I'm deep digging down Across the woods I scan With my metal detector and my pointer I search for gold deep below the earth When it's found I replace the turd I mostly find what I'm looking for Oh yes I do Deep digger down, he's back. Come on, get in. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to France. We're in France, we're in France. Today is the 6th of June, it's Saturday. It's the anniversary of D-Day, the 71st anniversary. Um, Matt is at work, but he's finishing about lunchtime, and, and we're heading off to well we're going to see a few like d-day celebrations if you like but i don't know how to take d-day is it something to celebrate or is it something to remember the dead you know i can't see me trying to be funny in this video because i i don't know my head seems to always think about the people who died rather than the celebration of landing back in mainland europe and eventually winning the war so, yeah, it's a strange feeling today. It's a beautiful day. This is Le France Van, by the way. Le France Van. I'm staying in Le France Van. And it's beautiful. It's better than the Danavan, I'll tell you that much. Um, I've just watered the flowers. Uh, I came yesterday, by the way, but I didn't do any filming because I wasn't very well. Because there was no... I didn't get to sleep for like 24, 30 hours. And I was really ill yesterday. Uh, I recovered by tea time and I went out for a beer last night with uh, Matt. But yeah, let's do today. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I'm absolutely loving it here. The sun doesn't know how to stop shining. Hello guys. Right, we're in Aramonche. Um, it's heaving. It's absolutely heaving. It's a beautiful day. Look at all the people behind me. Just packed with people. I'm here with. This is the guy who's invited me to France, by the way, Monkey. Okay. There's Monkey. Sorry, Matt Key. But I like to call him Monkey. Uh, that's Matt Key. Say hello, Monkey. Monkey. Uh, Monkey. 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 Man Matt Key. <laughs> and yeah, he's brought me to this place, and it's full of American. Oh, I'll try and show you that behind me there. Oh, American jeeps and and stuff. And I would say it's probably about. 60-70% of people here in France today speak, in, they're either American or English and it's really quite cool. I wasn't sure how I was going to take today, I didn't know if it was going to be a day of mourning the people who died on D-Day, but it seems to be a big celebration here. And there's a, there's a lovely beach down here, there's people on the beach sunbathing and stuff. Matt's going to be working in a bit, he's got to hand some flyers out. Hey, if you want to buy a caravan, let me know. If you want a caravan in Normandy, let me know, because uh, Matt gets commission if he sells one, all right? But yeah, start of the day, let's see what happens. Just taking a look at some, uh, I don't know what you'd call them, cannony things and, be and uh, jeeps. And I think that's one of them, like, uh, floating... I don't know, people carry your things for D-Day, I don't know. There's loads of bikes, look. Loads of bikes, and just see how many people are around. Can you see all these people? It's such a busy day. I'm guessing there's going to be a band on here soon. That's quite cool. Oh, Lambeth Walk. They're playing some kicking tunes, I'll tell you. I don't know how well you can see that guys, but look at how many people are just down there. Some kind of parade coming through. And it doesn't matter which part of uh, Europe you're in. You can guarantee it's full. There's always a piper from Scotland. Oh, you've got to love this. Honestly, the French women accent is the sexiest thing you've ever heard in your life. If a man talks French, he sounds like scum. <laughs> but a woman, ooh.
This is France 2015. Live music. Some girls over there, I don't know, dressed as. Are they dressed as American women, soldiers? I don't know. All I know, this is his damn good day. You don't get better than that. There's two Spitfires guys. Saw some in Portsmouth and now we've seen some in Normandy. Okay, we've come to the American cemetery. Okay, Omaha Beach is just over there. This is the American cemetery, which was one place I had to come to whilst I was on this trip. And I've been talking to Monkey, who's, who's filming at the moment. <laughs> So, sorry, Matt Key, <laughs> Monkey. Um, but we've noticed, and Matt's noticed this in the past, on these Jewish headstones, there's a lot of stones put on them. And we don't know why they're put on. But I'm hoping someone out there will know why. Obviously, it's, it's obviously a Jewish thing because they're not on any of the others. Um, Hoping one of you guys can tell us why people are coming and paying their respects and putting these stones on. So if anyone knows, please let us, please tell us. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, it's very sombre, it's very sombre. I just don't know how to take the place, to be honest with you. Knowing that there's people under each of these headstones, it's quite... Uh, quite depressing but it's also quite I'm quite proud but I'm also quite upset if that makes any sense I don't know how to feel So this is Arthur B. Bushlin, as you can see, and he was a World War II hero, and if I can do this, I'll try and do it when I'm editing my video together, I'll put a picture up of him now. He was six, uh, 26 on D-Day. Here's a picture of him, hopefully. So Arthur, Arthur Bushlin, is a war hero. Basically what, what happened, I believe he was on like a landing craft on D-Day coming over and two of, his, two of his friends were injured, two people in the same infantry as himself. They were injured and he tried to save them, realised he couldn't and then he tried to save some equipment. Just basically anything he could do for his country to try and help on D-Day. Yeah? Um, he got very seriously wounded himself, but he, he dragged himself onto the beach where he eventually died. Um, he got entangled on some of the barbed wire or something. I don't know the full story, I'm sorry, I'm not a historian. But uh, yeah, a true war hero there. And I'm, I'm only singling this one person out, but there's thousands of them. Just take a look at them, there's thousands of them, and each each one 
is a hero as far as I'm concerned. The reason I'm showing this beach for you guys is this is Omaha Beach. Um, you've got the American Cemetery just literally here. It's just on the top of this hill and that's Omaha Beach. That's where thousands died guys. Very sad but I don't know it's very strange today. People people are celebrating and I find it quite strange that people are celebrating on, a, on an anniversary of when so many people died but hey each to their own yes in a way it is worth celebrating because it's uh, the anniversary of when we re-entered mainland Europe and we eventually won the war um, but you've got to remember the people who died haven't you and this is where they died and you can just imagine the thousands and thousands of uh, literally thousands of ships coming over here and the American troops landing here very sad <laughs> 